Hello, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Today I wanted to showcase a couple of new groovy plates. We're right in the groove here in England and I, and I, I just want to show you our latest designs which are so, so useful. First of all, Christmas is in the air and, uh, and so we've come up with uh, some rather magnificent snowflakes which I think you'll enjoy and also uh, here we have Joy, Peace and Noel, also gorgeous. It's astounding and this is what I want to show you today, how detailed the tightest of these uh, snowflakes on these beautifully uh, laser etched plates is. So, so those are the two main plates that I wanted to show you. And then the other thing is, uh, so let me just put my snowflake inside already. And the other thing is these two new borders. Now, these are quite interesting. One has got the months of the year, January, February, March, etc., and then one, two, zero, so you can write all the dates that you fancy. And the other one has got mum, dad, uh, father, mother, brother, sister, and loads of relations, which is super. And in case you're wondering about the and, so that you could write mum and dad, husband has got an and in it. We're happy to report. <laughs> okay, so let me just first of all show you the detail on these snowflakes. I'll do a large one and a small one and you can decide for yourselves. Piece of parchment and I'll go, for example, with this beautiful one. Now, I want to, for example, also explain these lines here. This is so that we can turn the snowflake, if we want to, into a bauble. Um, and these are the rings. I'll show you how they work too. This is so fun to do. I think the thing about this is it's like Lego. It's like having a great big pile of Lego emptied out in front of you and then having to look at all the elements and decide which pieces do I want to use. So that's really what we're doing here. You think of it like Lego. So first of all, I just want to take my, my snowflake and let's use this one here because it's not the largest one and it's not the smallest one, but it will give you a good idea of how detailed these are. And I just want to, the reason I'm turning it at a jaunty angle like this is because I want it to be, um, I want the star to face upwards like a, as if it were a, Bauble. Okay, so I'm going to take my tumble dryer sheet and I'm just going to concentrate on this particular design. And I'll also take another piece of, there we go, and what I'm going to do is just put my sellotape where I'm securing it, not on the, um, not on the plate, but on the mate. And the reason I'm doing that is so that if I wanted to check, I can do that. See, now I've done this, for example, I can lift this off and have a look at my work and I can slot it back in easily, even though it's at a jaunty angle. Right, so let's get going. I'm gonna use the smaller, um, the, the number two embossing tool. And, uh, and I'm just gonna start by working my way around. Now, if I feel, you see, even this number two, it sits in there really, really comfortably. And the trick with these very, very fine detail pieces is to take your time, get in the groove, and then follow the pattern. You see, like so. That's, that's all that you need to know, is just to relax, make the artwork come to you, and then slowly get in the groove. And bear in mind that while I'm doing this, I'm using the number two embossing tool. Of course I can use the thinner one, I'm just trying to make a point. Shall we take a look? Bearing in mind, I've used the second tool, not the sharpest one. So let's just see how, how beautiful this is. I'd say that that works 
very, very well, wouldn't you? Let's check it out. Okay, now if we wanted to sharpen this up, bear with me now, and we're gonna whiz around this. What I've done is now, I've, I've basically broken the parchment, so I've cracked the grain, and now I'm gonna go in. If I wanted to sharpen it up more, now's my opportunity. Right, set the timer. <laughs> Okay, so now it's super crisp, very lovely. Okay, those are your choices. Um, don't have to, can if you want to. Right, now, the other thing is, there's, um, there's a star created around the outside. Let's do that too. Cool, so there's a, there's a beautiful star. And what I want to do now is show you how to use the rings that come with the snowflake. And then I'm going to impress you by doing one of the little tiny ones. Let's see how that comes out. So I've got my star in place and now I'm going to take my, my ring. There you go. I'm going to use that ring there. This is going to be the joiner. Here we are. And what I'm going to do is start in the middle like there, come round the front, but then stop there. So I give the illusion of it being three-dimensional. Let's check it out. Always working from behind and then looking to the front. You see how it goes in there, round the back. Excellent. And then I'm going to use my... my piece of cord that holds the bauble. But perhaps I want to wait to do that to see what I want to hang it from, you know? I could, for example, hang it from a large, like the joy or the peace. Um, so maybe I want to hold fire with that. In fact, I think I will. Instead, let's listen to some nice music while I look for one of the tiny, uh, I love a challenge. Let me take one of the small ones. So I'm gonna slot out that plate. Put in one of the small, I think that looks to me like the smallest one. Let's use that one. Okay, and I'll just add that there like so. Uh, like so. Oh, I want it hanging like that too. Right, so it's at the same angle, if you follow what I mean. In fact, let's just listen to some nice music while I fiddle around. <laughs> Right, let's see, this is so tiny. And I went in with the tight, the smallest uh, tool because I, I just felt I could, I could grip better. So let's just check it out and see where we are. Oh, I know what I didn't do. Um, I, I didn't, I forgot to, there we are. Let's check it out. Now look at the detail on that, isn't that astounding? See, that impresses me. Um, so there we are. So we've done a large snowflake and a small snowflake. I hope you like them. And I'll just quickly um, add my, uh, my baubles, my, my, my little ring to that snowflake too. Okay, always remember so, isn't that lovely? Doesn't that look pretty? Okay, so now that's enough. I think I've made my point. You know how wonderful these snowflakes are. Turn it over before you get too cocky, Barbara. And now I'm going to go with, let me see, mum and dad. And I want to just write, for example, mum and dad, uh, just to show you how lovely these work too. So um, let's just take this over here and I'm just going to use mum and dad, I think.
So we've got and, oh, doesn't it look delightful? Mum and, and now we've got dad as well. So we'll find dad. If they watch this, they'll know what their Christmas card's going to look like. Let's check it out. Right, there we go. So here's dad. Tell you what I just realized I hadn't used the um, the tumble dryer sheet and I was thinking cool these are harder than I remember them but that's why what a difference that makes for gliding around there we go dad piece of cake mum not so easy and I mean that in the nicest possible way mum right so here we are we've got mum and dad now but you see if I put that on black see how doesn't that look excellent I love it so while we're at it, let me just show you the, um, the months of the year as well. And, um, and the other thing is that what I wanted to say is this isn't going to be, I'm not going to make a finished card here. This takes time, this kind of thing. But if, for example, I say uh, 24th of December, there we go. Let's just start with the 24th of December. So we're going to start back to front. And again, I'm going to use a tumble dryer sheet this time. There we go. And, and I just want to show you how lovely this looks and what, how, how delightful the font is when you, when you see it. Here we go. So that's what I want to show you today. Look at that, isn't that a lovely font? Just take this tape off, check it out. So we've got mum and dad, so we've got all the relatives. We've got 24th of December, it's a party at our house. You're invited mum and dad, of course, like every year. Um, so there we are, that's what I wanted to show you, just the technique and the clarity of these fantastic groovy designs that we've come up with. Um, Mum and Dad, the family border, uh, the months of the year and the numbers border, the snowflakes, joy, peace and Noel. Rather lovely. So thank you very much for joining me. Uh, do pop over to my blog, barbaragrayblogspot.com and check out the daily blogs that I write for you or subscribe to this YouTube channel and join me every Tuesday. I shall see you next week. Bye-bye now.